I'm Noah. Nice to meet you. Ryan, so does Andy. Uh, so tell me a little bit about why you race my dog. Well, you know, that's kind of funny you ask because I've been trying to figure that out lately. I've been asking myself that question over and over again. And <clears throat> you know, I think the biggest thing is, is I really like to ride. And there's some years where we get all the way down the Yukon to Fairbanks and, and, then, the, and then the race is over and I just want to keep going. I just want to keep riding. It's definitely not for the fame and glory. <laughs> it's definitely not to get rich, but racing has been part of my family for since I was a little kid. Um, I grew up in a racing family. My dad raced Enduros growing up all along California, Oregon, Washington. And we'd travel around with my dad's dirt bike. Me, my mom, my sister, we'd load up in the car and go on trips. And he had raced these Enduros. And me, my mom, and my sister would man these checkpoints. And you know, all the racers would come in and we'd check off their helmets. And my dad would come in and, and we'd be right there in the checkpoint. So racing's been part of my family my whole life. And uh, you know, I really like to get out and race against these guys. It's, it, it makes it real fun. Can you tell me what you do in the off season when you're not racing? Um, you know, I try to stay in best shape I can. You know, I, I work in construction, so we're on the go all day long. So, you know, that's on, every day is a workout in its own, just going to work. Um, we do a lot of, I, I ride a stand-up jet ski a lot. Um, I do some wakeboarding. You know, we ride four-wheelers, you know. Um, <clears throat> Really what starts off my training is, is hunting season. You know, during hunting season, we put on a lot of miles on four-wheelers and, and we do a lot of hiking out in the woods and we hike up mountains and and um, that really starts off my training. And then I, I hit the gym pretty hard. And then as soon as it starts snowing, obviously we, we ride as much as we can. Um, this year I'm taking a little different approach. The last few years we've, we've been in such good shape at the start of the race, we've kind of neglected other things like the sleds. In previous years, we've pushed the sleds off until the last couple weeks and it, it's way too stressful. It just causes problems. Um, you know, you're not getting any sleep. So we're, this year we're getting the sleds done first and then we're gonna focus hard on training. Can you tell me about your favorite iron dog you've ever raced? It seems like over the years they all start blending into one. Um, you know, my very first year I raced with my father in 2002 and we didn't have a very good trip. We, you know, we had big ambitions and we thought we were going to do great as rookies and then we ended up running into some serious issues and we just, you know, looking back on it now, we had no idea what we were doing and I, you know, I had no idea what even really what the Iron Dog was about and then I took a bunch of years off and then came back in 2010 and that was our rookie year and raced with Jeremy Neeser and we were both rookies and he, Jeremy had never raced anything before and uh, we ended up doing really well. We were running top five most of the race and we ended up finishing sixth overall in rookie of the year. And that was, you know, that was really one of my highlights of my career is, is finishing our first year as rookies and, and finishing top 10 and, and top rookie of the year. You know, I don't know if we've had a really a perfect race yet. Um, hopefully this year is, that's gonna change. Um, but every single iron dog I've done has been has been a blast, and I love, I've, you know every single one of them is a different story. I can sit here for hours and tell you different stories, you know. But every single iron dog I've raced has been has been pretty phenomenal. All right, man. If you want to give a shout out to anybody, um, yeah, you know, one thing you know that keeps us going is sponsors. And obviously, um, <clears throat> our biggest sponsors are U UA Local 367. You know, that's what I do for a living. I'm a plumber, pipe fitter, and they keep me employed. And we do all kinds of stuff from big commercial uh, mechanical rooms to aquatherm projects. And everybody thinks of a plumber is, you know, this guy who runs around and snake and toilets and stuff all day. There's so much other stuff to plumbing and pipe fitting than, than just, you know, service guys. So what we do is, you know, it's pretty interesting and, and, it, and it puts, puts spread on the table for my family and, and they also back us 100% in the Iron Dog. It's our biggest sponsor, you know, but we've landed a couple other good sponsors lately. You know, we've got Vision X now, we've got Anchor Suzuki, Arctic Cat, you know, we've been players uh, for my whole career and I've never been on anything else. And then this year we decided to make a change and now we're on Arctic Cats and we're pretty excited about it. We're pretty excited about having something different, you know. Sometimes you just keep going on the same, the same plane and never do anything different. You never know if something else could work out for you, you know, kind of like the grass is greener on the other side. Well, in this case, it's the green Arctic cat. So the sponsor's behind us this year and, and Arctic cat's behind us. And so we're, we're pretty excited. I have a good feeling about this year.